Hello YouTube aficionados. We have damage control again. Played two days ago, not three years ago. Determined to get a high score. I don't know if I got all the multipliers or not at the end. I didn't use any items. I didn't use the flamethrower. But I didn't get the multiplier for those two. I believe I was not detected. But if you think I was, point it out to me in the comments section. So the approach this time, different. Not going through the door on the left side, but going back to the starting corridor and going down this way. So to the big enthusiasts, this will be a new area for you to behold. There's a camera there. Don't get spotted by it. You can see the grid on the floor or it will alert the alien. Collecting the second tag there. Part of the secondary mission objectives. Headed for the armory via a different route. Still no alien. Could you believe my luck? It's not strictly luck, you do understand what goes on under the hood. You do listen to the alien. And unlike in the previous video, we got the alien in the room. Where to hide? There are no closets, no tables. And it can actually spot you from that exact spot where I am. You could hide where the light is in front of me and it won't spot you there like ever. But in the corner where I was, it actually can spot you sometimes. And it's very curious how that works. How is it that it spots you sometimes, but not other times? And so yeah, I gotta get out by essentially going to where the alien is. That's my only way out. And we saw the alien headed off that way. See, so I took a bit of a cautious approach. I went to the desk to use as cover in case the alien backtracks, as it often does. See? And I was about to go. I didn't know it would backtrack, as it did. Like, I suspected it probably will. But you never know what it will do. Now, can you imagine if this is real, as this is the role you're meant to assume when you play a video game, that this is actually real. The alien went in there, you're going this way, you're hoping to survive, right? And you're actually living this. Can you imagine how that would feel? See, we heard the alien returning, so he didn't stay in the armory for long. I was going to go through the door to progress, but since the alien quickly got out of the armory, I have to hide here, and this isn't a good hiding spot. But the alien doesn't know I'm there. I'm quiet as a mouse. And it worked. I didn't know it would work. It just had to look left, but it didn't. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if this was real and you were hiding in that corner and the alien just walks off? I mean, when you think about how you are as a person, you only look at one spot. You don't know what's on the left. You don't know what's behind you. And this is just as true for the alien. It looks in one direction. So it doesn't like see everything all at once. Crawling, crawling, I believe, to make no noise. But I'll start walking now. Yeah, see? Because I, I know I made some distance from it. 
and after going through the door. See, the tactics were deliberate to start walking after going through the door. Five minutes in, starting to sweat because it's a good run. It's hard to get to this point, actually. The armory is a nightmare. The alien is very, um, um, very focused on that area. And again, I hit the wall as I did in the previous run. I blew a run when I did not hit the wall. And um, so I decided to hit the wall again from there. <clears throat> I am of the view I was not detected when I did that because the alien was really far away. It didn't hiss because it wasn't even in the area immediately, immediate to where I hit the wall. So that's my opinion. And the reason why I hit the wall, even though the alien wasn't right there, is the problem is if you don't hit the wall and you just keep going. The alien will just drop right in front of you. See, you saw the vent above me. I looked up. The alien would just drop in and it's game over. You can't just keep walking forever. You don't have that kind of immunity, right? You're not a king where the alien will just give you the red carpet and let you walk. So the intent is to make a noise, to distract it. And then when the alien's distracted, you can make better progress. And see, I had, a, I had amazing luck here. Like, from the window, I saw how the alien just bolted off. So then I knew I could just head for the um, computer room. I judged I could. You never know if, if you actually can. Didn't have to hide under the table. And then the all-favorite computer room. How to get out. Is it going to take me another five minutes like in the previous video? Or will it go better? The amount of time I spent to do the secondary mission objectives was roughly the same. But I'm of the view that I am sitting on a times 12 multiplier. So what color is the butterfly that the alien keeps chasing? Is it red? It must be red. With little pink dots. The alien's like, wow, I so like this. <laughs> I'm not going to bother chasing after um, the person. And see, I was about to, to make a dash for it, but I had to look. And I saw that the alien had turned around. If I, if I made my move, it would see me. It's not one of those blind enemies in other games that have a very restricted field of vision. It can see you if you're in its line of sight. Or it will hiss. If there is some distance, then it might not actually see you, but it will hiss. And then it will have detected you. When the alien detects you, it's like an in-between where you did make a mistake so it almost saw you but it didn't see you and therefore it didn't dash to um, get you but yeah it's not hissing i haven't made any mistakes and it certainly isn't grabbing me. It doesn't know I'm here. But I really want to get out. I want to get to my exit. I want to be free. Help me. And you thought a space marine would save me? Nope. Won't save me. 
Weapons won't work. No one will save me. It's all up to me. So you can see the tail going off that. And when you hope it just heads off, it goes back. It's not easy to get out of here. And people need the restraint to not just get out. They need to get out at the right time. However long it takes, make sure it's the right time. See, it turned around, so I had to retreat. I would have gone if it had not turned around. A lot of people do not have that self-control to actually just wait for the right moment. They'll just have to leave. I guarantee you, 9 out of 10 people, they'll, they'll just have to get out. They will not be able to just stay in this room for so many minutes. They'll be like, I'm just going. And um, it was like a gift for me. The alien was nowhere. It wasn't in the corridor. It wasn't here. But I was listening to the audio. So I knew I had an opportunity to make my move. This game is exceptional in that listening to audio is a gameplay mechanic where you make decisions based on the audio. That is unheard of in a video game. So again, do you think I got the times 12 multiplier or not? I'm going to do a tally, a manual tally, and see what my score is, assuming a times 12 multiplier. 